So this is the lap on simple machines, and this is the way you you set up the pulleys. Um, so hook it up here, um, then hook up one of the strings here, and then you thread it forth and back between the pulleys. And you you might as well use four hands for that because um, it's a little bit tricky to to set up. Um, depending on if you put the initial string here or here you will have either an odd number of strings or an even number of strings running down and supporting the weight that's up to you you just have to go to a lap sheet and change that if that's the case okay I'm gonna put um, these on here these monster trucks um, try something that's relatively close to 500 grams simply because your spring scale goes up to 500 grams so I'm going to measure how much mass this is here and make sure that this one is teared in the vertical so that you have it at zero and I'm reading off for these 370 grams is the mass which means I have three point let me read, read off the weight actually I have 3.6 newtons is the weight and then I'm going to put these toy trucks onto the pulley system at this point it would be nice if I had more than two hands but let's see what happens and then I pull them up Obviously. Okay. There we go. And now I'm going to measure how much force I actually need in that point. I may want to make myself a second knot here. And again, this would be beneficial if I had more than two hands. I think I got it, hopefully. Now if you did this with a real pulley system, you may only want to pull up one monster truck at a time. Okay, And now of course I should have, as I measure the force here, I should have a mechanical advantage, meaning that I should pull with less force. I also, before I do that actually, I may want to see that this one is zeroed out in the horizontal. It's different in the vertical because the spring falls down now then in the horizontal so I may want to adjust that here pulling it slightly out and okay now it's at zero because um, I'm gonna pull this definitely not in the vertical and definitely not up so in the horizontal here or kind of at an angle and I read off 1.5 newtons and no matter how I pull it, it's pretty much an average of 1.5 newtons if I just hold it or if I actually pull it, it's the same force either way, unless I let it go. So 1.5 newtons on average. It says on there something about a token distance of pulling it up one meter. You actually don't have to do that. You just have to keep in mind, well, if you need to pull the whole thing up here one meter, how much string do you have to pull? Well, right now, if you could film this one here, I have four strings running down, four strings supporting this. Um, so that means actually I would have to pull four meters of string. Of course, you don't have to do that because you know that's what you would have to do, four meters of string to pull these up by one meter. Of course, the four strings that are supporting um, the, the pulley and the monster truck here means that the mechanical advantage would be a quarter of the force. Remember that this one was three point six newtons the weight and I'm pulling here with roughly 1.5 newtons so that's a little bit more than a quarter and you would have to figure out well why is that actually more that goes into the um, error calculation and efficiency okay that's pretty much how you set it up and um, again I will show the calculations in a different recording thank you